freeze. You're probably wondering, how did I get in this situation? Well, let me take it back to the beginning. My first video in Project Zomboid. <laughs> this was a learning experience. It wasn't until I got into Rosewood my second time and found my character that I finally actually knew what it meant to be a survivor. Then we take it to Mall Draw. Mall Draw is where it really went down. Survived for five days and I thought I was the beastiest character you could possibly be. So I'm like, let's take on the challenge. You see, Louisville is all the way in the top corner and the only way to get there is to drive, but I'm not doing that. I need spawns now. So I go ahead and scour the internet like a madman because I want to find a mod that will put me in a position to where I don't have to drive to Louisville. So I scoured it and I finally came across one that worked for me. And I go to Spiffo's workshop, I plug it in. And you know what this one is? Pillow's random spawn. I'm gonna have it in the description if anybody wants to download it for themselves so they don't have to go through the treacherous drive, which is Louisville. So I grip, grab the first one, or locked and loaded, spawn in, and I do the usual. You know, check everything, cause I need my weapons. But my lush penthouse apartment <laughs> makes me feel bougie just a little bit. With my jukebox and, and my TV, I, I feel like an immaculate individual. So not only while I have the life and living show on, I'm reading up on my mechanics. So my mechanics is uh, good and golden by the time it comes time to uh, put some stuff together. And I go to search my house and I search everything, every area, but I find nothing. So I had to cross the hall to my neighbor's house in hopes for a weapon to at least do me some decent survival. Find me something, head outside and boy was i prepared for something because after encountering my first zombie cool i thought it wasn't going to be as bad as it seems but man i was not expecting the amount of zombies we are getting ready to witness i i tried to take on this little horde here and do what i can to take them one by one and Nope, I start to get overwhelmed and overwhelmed fast. So I do the next best thing that I can do, run away, uh, dodge, juke, weave, uh, something, catch a couple near misses because uh, my skills barely got me out of there and hop the fence because some tips that I was given break their line of sight hop the fence now i only have to deal with one which is perfect for me so in comes more zombies and when i tell you zombies come from everywhere they were in the house and i didn't even know they were in the house how in the world am i supposed to defend against zombies that are already in my home and mind you i am trying to find a good spot to hide in general and everywhere i go there's a horde. I can't even find a house to go in because the zombies are chilling in the house. So you wanna talk about finding safety? Good luck. So I round the corner, in every corner, there's a zombie coming out of a house. And whoever put this together, I'm telling you, they made sure your survival was slim. When I tell you a zombie comes off of a porch every five seconds, <laughs> I barely make it out even just trying to take out the few zombies that I can take out it gets sticky fast because as soon as I get close to taking care of a zombie more zombies and I nearly ended it there trying to get a watch yeah don't make that mistake that I made let, let, let it go just let it go so I go on my running adventure. It, it's, this felt more or less less like a survival and more like a marathon. Let's see how long we can sprint. And so I see this house and I'm like, hmm, can I check it? Zombies. So I try to take on these few zombies and what happens? <laughs> I get infected. 
oh, great way to start your day, right? You know, instead of being able to do what you need to do, you get infected. And now my first mind is, let's 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 make a bandage. Take off my socks, try to rip it, try to rip it, try to rip it. But I forgot you can't rip things while running. So I just keep trying and keep trying and try to find a spot just so I can stop and rip some clothes to make a bandage. (sighs) Yeah, that was a bad idea. So I do my marathon training like I've like I've been doing just train on bobbing and weaving from these zombies until I can find me a safe spot to rip my socks and potentially die but look at these weave skills oh my goodness immaculate Mm -mm. a zombie will never touch me again with those weave skills Ooh, more 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 weaving you know real skill and i finally get an opportunity to take some action and make a bandage which leads us to the moment i know you all have been waiting for you all have been sitting here questioning thinking aladdin why 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 was why was your shirt off (laughs) you get to see here because my mindset was well i can't rip my sock let's take my shirt off that would make more sense right just take the shirt off that that'd give you what you need while you're walking no stop moving smart guy so i finally stopped moving to rip my shirt to make a bandage because you can make a bandage and walk while bandaging yourself, but you can't rip the sheets. So I apply my Band-Aid. Now I'm a shirtless man with a Band-Aid. What sense does that make? Why you have a horde of 30,000 zombies chasing you? Means nothing. So I'm good for the time being, but there's a problem. All this running has made me tired. Now my character is drowsy. Awesome, right? So it comes to the point, I just, I I gave up. I gave up. We'll have to try again next time. So if you enjoy this style of content, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, share, and I'll see you on the next one.